camera, but I thought I'd pull this thing out for this interview to show that I have, I've built back all bridges and there are no hard feelings. And hey, look, you're, you're, as, a, as a good football fan, you have to appreciate a well-executed game plan, and that's what the Chargers had. So I'm firmly in your camp. All right, Rush. In a satellite interview, Limbaugh told us he's been invited to attend the Super Bowl with Chargers owner Alex Spanos. A catered Rubio fish taco lunch, a case of avocados, and an America's Finest City t-shirt that she says he has to wear the day after the game. No word yet on his side of the bet. The AFC champion San Diego Chargers said goodbye to the Pacific Ocean and hello to the Atlantic Ocean as their charter jet touched down at 740 Eastern Time at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Coach Bobby Ross said the team stayed an extra day in San Diego in order to put their entire game plan in. Ross also warned his players that this is a business trip, not a pleasure trip for the first time Super Bowl participants. First and foremost, we're coming down to win this football game. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice experience and, and uh, you'll enjoy it and try to enjoy it. Uh, but the number one priority for us is to come down here and win this football game. I should point out that all fans as well as all media types are being barred from that hotel all this week, rightfully so. I'm sure that we would uh, not allow those Charger players to get the rest and relaxation that they need prior to the game because everyone needs to get in or wants to get in in terms of fans looking for autographs. So uh, the security is tight around the airport and around the hotel as they've been coming in throughout the day. What do they know? I am joined by Hank Bauer. Hank, you've been to a number of Super Bowls as a spectator. Uh -huh. You're Check. finally at a Super Bowl where the Chargers will be participants. Amazing, isn't Beautiful it? Beautiful thing, Hal. You know, this is a team of destiny. You mentioned nobody has given this team any kind of chance. No. You know, when, when they were in Pittsburgh, you know, it was like 66 degrees. You talk about unseasonably warm. The day after the game, when we left the airport in Pittsburgh, it was a wind chill of 13 degrees. It's fake. Right? They leave San Diego and there's a storm, and they come here, and as cold as you may think this is, this is actually great football weather. So nobody gives them much of a chance, but I'm telling you right now, this is a team of destiny, and believe me, they got in tonight, and those guys addressed that very thing. Buy souvenirs or just try one of the many, many different games that were available to them, and some of those who attended felt like something was missing. I want to find more Charger fans. I want a Charger party. Where are the Charger fans? Well, I didn't expect all of this, but it's just amazing. I mean, there's parties here. We've been Fort Lauderdale two different nights. We've been down in Miami. Just everywhere we go, there's been a big party. NFL superstars Marcus Allen and Ronnie Lott started that party three years ago, and all the proceeds go to help Florida's needy children. So a, a good cause for all that fun tonight. Ted Chen was there during the party. He found one of the computers that will predict the score of the Super Bowl. What is San Francisco 28. San Diego, seven. So like all the other prognosticators, the Sega computer doesn't give the Chargers any respect. Uh, I want to point out, though, that the creators of this program are from Ramona, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh. Good evening, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. What a day it has been in Miami, uh, in large part because it is warmed up, the mm, nights are nice, beautiful. the day is, is really what you think of as South Florida. And as we head towards the game, there is the threat of rain on Sunday, but if it rains, it will still be high 70s or low 80s. And, and, the, and the Chargers did well in the rain against Pittsburgh, so we don't care if it rains, we're still going to win. I want to try, <laughs> something, try something with Marty. Marty, stick out your right arm. Right arm. Stick out my left arm. It almost... Don't, st don't stick out these arms. We don't have a wide enough angle for you and I on both sides of Rory. <laughs> it's like bookends around Rory. You guys look great. Actually, I have one of those sweatshirts, too, but I think three would have been too much. Don't you think? Yeah. Three would have been too much. I have a Super Bowl sweatshirt on instead. Last night, we were at the uh, convention center in Fort Lauderdale for what they're billing as the biggest Super Bowl party. Uh, it's a three-day event. There's some displays. The NFL Players Association is putting that one on. And those of you who joined us last night saw the, all the hoop de doo that was going on there. Lots of other parties going on tonight, and Extra, where Jim, of course, uh, does the color broadcasting for the Chargers game, and will, of course, for the Super Bowl. That's got to be exciting. Uh, looking You're forward You're going to call it. the Super Bowl. Yeah, hopefully, if I don't lose my voice. If you, oh, please don't. I brought along one of those little horns that Harpo Marx used to use, just in case I lose wah, my wah. voice. Wah, wah, wah. Let me ask you, does it make you nervous? Because I know you've done lots of football games, but never the Super Bowl. No, uh, not nervous at all. Just looking forward to sitting there with Pat Curran and Lee Hamilton and just 
taking part in all the excitement that, 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 that it will be. Well, right now, they're putting on a party, and it has lured San Diego fans from all over this area, needless to say from San Diego, but they had to stop here first. Folks that are in our area here, staying in motorhomes, have driven in to go to this party, and our John Gregory is there, and he joins us live now. John? Marty, uh, this party is just really starting to heat up. We're in the Fort Lauderdale area at a bar called the Bermuda Triangle. There are hundreds of Charger fans here. Uh, they, they flew in, a lot of them tonight. This place is really hopping. They've got a pool here. They've got a dance floor, live music. They also have a lot of bars, and as you can hear, they've got a lot of people uh, enjoying those bars and the facilities. Uh, Out a little bit and had a cameraman along, and uh, lo and behold, Riding her bicycle down the street was Gina Seau, wife of Chargers All-Pro linebacker Junior Seau. She got in yesterday with the other wives and friends, and uh, Gina was having a real good time, and she is so excited to be here. You know, she used to work for the Chargers, and then she married Junior, and now she is a player's wife, so she has seen it from all different perspectives. She's excited to be here. Yeah, it's really neat because, I mean, this is a historical thing for, for right. the city of San Diego, and for once, everybody in San Diego can be proud to say that they're a Charger fan, everybody that's in the organization can be proud to say they work for this great franchise now. It's not just the little old Char Chargers in Sleepy San Diego. It's a really exciting thing now. So it's really, I'm really happy to see everybody in the organization so, you know, on top of the world right now. I, I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, she said the phone has been ringing constantly in their room. Junior didn't warn her about that. Uh, but, you know, uh, the night before the game, the wives don't get to spend the night with right. The, right. their husbands. The husbands are taken off to a secret location here in Miami, some hotel. And uh, she said it's, it's better that way because Junior needs that time to focus. And I think you know, most wives will tell you that's, that's true. When I was talking this morning, all you had to do was head down to the stadium. Thousands of fans from all over the county filled the stadium parking lot to become a small dot in a giant picture. The picture? A one acre size human lightning bolt. Look at that. This event, sponsored by KKLQ Radio, was organized to prove San Diegans believe the Chargers can bring home a Super Bowl victory. Organizers estimated 50,000 fans showed up. Some even spent the entire night in the parking lot. I've lived up on top of this hill ever since I was about 13, and this is the biggest event I've ever seen come on down here. A poster of today's human lightning bolt will be in tomorrow morning's Union Tribune.